Okay, so in planning ahead for this little adventure, uh, and immediately when this broke, I got on to, uh, to eBay to see if I could find a replacement. Um, not knowing if I was going to be able to repair it or not, knowing that it was worn pretty severely. So, we'll look here. So there's the original that broke. Right? The eBay seller sent me this one. And... Not near as war as the original. And since I can't come up with a good way to either drill that out um, and put bushings in there or machine that down and put bushings on that, I am just going to go ahead use this replacement um, which doesn't have as much wear at all. And I may go ahead and try to order a new axle here at some point as well. Um, but the amount of play with this one, far less. Far less than the original that was on there. So, I'm going to try it out. Put it back together with that on there. And see if it doesn't work out. So that's where we are. Okay, so what I've decided here is, since I don't have a large enough drill bit for this, and there's no way to chuck that up, um, it, it just kind of is what it is. There's more slop on this side than on the other side, and I'm, I guess I'm just going to have to uh, to deal with it, watch it, and maybe in the future, 
come up with a way to um, take this axle in to uh, a machine shop that would have some way to drill it out or get myself a uh, inch and a quarter drill bit and drill it out to inch and a quarter and then bush it um, but until that time comes I'm kind of stuck with what I got so uh, one one thing of note here during the disassembly process this actually is threaded on the um, on the top side of it here and so when you're disassembling uh, you take this nut off of the the bolt that goes through here and then you have to actually unscrew the unscrew the bolt there so let's get some grease on here and we're just gonna pack grease all in this cavity right here is going to slip inside of there at the same time we are coming up into here like so now we've got a couple washers and a spacer underneath of there no spacer Okay, the last thing I'm going to do here as a sanity check is just check turning the steering wheel on where I'm locating this arm right here. Um, this is where I had it set previously, and I've still got some adjustment there. If I need to come back or forward a little bit, I can do that. And we'll just run it out all the way left. Looks like we're good there and all the way right and then make sure we aren't at our stops yeah looks, uh, looks pretty good and before I button all that up I'm gonna put the tire on there and just check to make sure I've got clearance uh, with the tire on as well and then I've got to uh, button up this arm here using this bolt and I'll tighten that up as well but it is coming together um, one other thing I'm going to do is uh, is to repack the bearings in the wheels um, so I will get all that done and it'll probably go pretty fast
right, gang, last part of uh, the John Deere 400 front steering repair is going to be the functionality test. We'll go ahead and start it up. Um, I've already kind of ran it through just without the hydraulic assist, and it looks good. Um, you just want to double check all that with the power actually to the mower. And before I get it down off of here and put all my tools up, I want to make sure that things are where they're supposed to be and the uh, steering range seems normal. Get some grease under your fingernails and have some man time. Thanks for joining me.